Hello, this is Desiree with Monster Beast Kennel, the founder and creator of the North American Mastiff. And these are almost two week old puppies. They'll be two weeks old tomorrow. And last night I was awoken by this mama dog growling at them. So first scam first. You gotta make sure like she's not lacking anything and none of her boobs are infected. They're not red or hot to the touch. They're not cut, not getting no infections, which I checked them, they're not hot. They're not hot to the touch, they're not red. She's, she's a primarily white dog. So of course they're gonna be pink, but nothing's wrong with her nipples. Then you're like, okay, is she getting enough nutrients? I'm supplementing her with vitamins. I'm giving her puppy food. I'm also giving her canned dog food with the puppy food to make sure she's eating properly. Um, you know, giving her adequate water. And then another thing, some dogs are food aggressive. So, you know, that was the first thing I was thinking that she was afraid that her puppies were going to eat her food. So I would, took her food bowl out. And then there was some food morsels in there, so I uh, took, you know, cleaned it all up, made sure there was no food morsels in there, so she wasn't, you know, you never know with mom and dog. Sometimes they could be food aggressive and think their puppies are going to eat their food. So I cleaned all that up. Then I was like, okay, well, maybe it's her water bowl. So I took her water bowl out to see if that was the issue. And, you know, she still did it. So now we're resorting to... I'm just going to let them eat every three to four hours off of her. You know, make sure that they get full. As you see, they're all to the side. They're full. And then I'll try to stick them back over here and make sure that they all got their fill. And, uh, you know, she'll still clean them off and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I just don't want her biting them, hurting them, or injuring any of them. You know, because you got to make sure she has enough calcium, enough nutrients, and it's not food aggression, and it's not, you know, something like mastitis with the nipples or anything like that. And then another thing I just did, I just cut all their toenails. Let's see. Sometimes their toenails can scratch her nipples and cause an infection. Or also they are starting to get, well... I don't have teeth yet, but sometimes when they start to get teeth, she'll bite them off and freak out. So you got to watch that also, but uh, your puppies at two weeks of age, they should be nice, fat, healthy puppies. You know, you want to make sure that they're gaining weight properly, that uh, your mom is getting enough nutrients also to, you know, support those dogs. And the only reason why your dogs could be skinny would be maybe because, um, like, let's say I had a dog on my YouTube channel. Uh, she had 18 puppies. So when you have a dog that has 18 puppies, you have to supplement them even more with more food, you know, more nutrients. I might give them some raw, you know, to make sure that she can support feeding that many puppies and she stays producing a lot of milk for these puppies because you can tell if your dog isn't producing milk because their boobs will kind of shrivel up and the puppies will start to whine you know whine as they're drinking milk and if they whine as they're drinking milk that means they're not getting hardly anything out so you see how they're all content and they're all sleeping that means they're getting enough milk they're happy they're healthy they're not hungry you know, that they're full and that they got their fill. But, um, uh, again, I'm gonna, uh, just keep an eye on her. You know, these dogs are inside my house. They're right next to my bedroom. So I hear everything that she's doing and I hear them, you know, if she bites them or anything like that, I hear it. So, you know, I'm just rule of thumb is I'm just going to let her feed them, let her have some quality time with them and then take them away when I'm not here. 
because it might just get a little bit worse or she might get better. I mean, she is a first time mom, so who knows? And also the difference of a um, experienced breeder and a novice breeder is dogs are gonna be born with worms. So before she had these puppies, two weeks before she had the puppies, I dewormed her. And then I also dewormed all these puppies. And then also you got to worry about coccidia, giardia. And then I also treat them for that as well. So like the number one thing you got to worry about with puppies is parasites. So you can have, <coughs> your puppies will be getting skinny and diarrhea because they get coccidia. So it's just rule of thumb because mom's cleaning the poop up. So she can actually give coccidia to her puppies. It's just how it goes, you know? And even if you de I dewormed her two weeks ago and there's any worms and worm eggs inside of her, there's no dewormer that kills the eggs. And the life cycle of the worm is two weeks. So if there were any eggs inside of her, they now are in her and she can pass those worms onto her puppies through her milk. So that's why you need to deworm your puppies. You need to, you know, make sure your puppies don't have coccidia. And then depending on, uh, you know, how clean you are, they can also get giardia too. And that's from drinking dirty water. So you got to watch that also. So you got to treat for all three things with your puppies and that's, why your puppies either are thriving or not you know and there's also some things that we don't see internally such as heart murmurs uh, like let's say they were the last puppy to get you know uh, fertilized the last egg to get fertilized their lungs might not be fully developed their intestines might not be fully developed like uh, one time I had a puppy uh, that he had a like a hole in his heart basically and as everybody else grew he stayed the same he stayed small but like he really wasn't as active as the other puppies but he didn't really show any other signs and at six six or seven weeks of age I take them all to the vet to get a full health check and at that point in time they get their ears cropped and they get a full health check and they told me what was going on with his heart. So obviously, you know, they said it wasn't a strong enough heart to sustain the dog getting as big as he needed to get, gaining the weight that he needed to get. And it would be, you know, the best option to, uh, you know, euthanize him because there was no way he could live like that, that basically he was suffering because his brain was being deprived of oxygen. So because of the heart could not pump enough oxygen through. So, you know, with that being said, if I didn't get my puppy's health checked, I wouldn't have known that, you know, you don't just sell dogs and not get them health checked and not know what's going on with the dogs. So that's the number one reason why I take them all to the vet at six, seven weeks. And if you do have a deposit on the dog and I find out something's up with the dog, that's not good. You know, we'll, uh, you know, switch your deposit over to another puppy. You know, if you want to wait for a different litter, that's fine. But, you know, things do happen and I'm not God and I don't know everything internally. What's going on with my pups? I can't see it. I don't have a crystal ball. You know, I can monitor them and I watch them every day, see how they're eating, see how they're growing, see how they're reacting. I touch them, you know, make sure their nails aren't too long. We you know, socialize them with kids and just basically I touch them every day. So I can kind of determine what's going on. If they got diarrhea, I can see it, you know, them pooping and stuff like that. So you just, you got to pay attention to all those things because diarrhea is a sign of coccidia giardia and pot bellies is a sign of worms. Also diarrhea could be worms also. So I just treat for all three just to be on the safe side. But all right, this is a pretty long video. I'm going to wrap it up. They will be two weeks tomorrow. And this is Splash and Kong Puppies.